We sit in our cars and our trucks. We sit in our offices. And we go home in the evening and plop ourselves into a nice, comfortable armchair in front of the TV. Or we sit in front of the computer. Have you noticed how modern conveniences, technologies, many the result of the space age, I'm afraid, are advertised as making your life easier? Now, what on earth does that mean? It means go home and sit down. <laughs> They're making your life easier, right down to a head down <laughs> tilt terminal. But they are killing us. They rob us of all the habitual movements we used to make when we lived without them. They robbed us of the perpetual motion our great-grandparents and grandparents engaged in day in, day out, throughout their entire lives. Now, it used to be speculation that sitting was related to increased illness and death. But numerous studies in the last couple of years have shown the rela direct relationship of the hours of sitting to, say, type 2 diabetes, to obesity, to uh, depression, to various heart conditions and stroke. And only two months ago, there was an excellent study that showed very clearly the direct relationship of sit hours sat to cancer of the um, colon and breast cancer. Now, it's only colon and breast cancer only because that's what they studied. So it doesn't mean that other kinds of cancer are not related to sitting. And probably when the work is done, that will show up the same relationship. On average, we sit apparently anything from five, at least five and a half hours to 10 hours a day. That's a lot of hours. 